hello guys good morning good afternoon good evening depending on wherever you're watching this cutie from it's your baby girl sarah in the building yeah guys yeah guys welcome back to my channel how you doing guys yes <laughs> We'll be talking about how not to be a slave with the things we love, okay? It's very easy for, for you to become a slave um, because you love something, okay? Or because um, you are in need of something, okay? So we'll be touch touching some key points that can make you to become a slave easily, okay? Those things that can make you to become a slave easily if you are not wise if god is not with you and if you know this is something that you like to watch just sit back and listen okay we are going to start with the first one love 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 it's all over the screen right love 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 yeah it's very easy for us to be a slave to be a slave when it comes to love okay uh, for example just because of love like love for your mother love for your father love for your spouse love for your children uh, love even for a friend it can make one to become a slave and how do you become a slave for love okay you become a slave for love when the you give love to someone and you expect to get it back because there is nobody on earth that can give love to someone and do not expect same energy back it might not come to same degree maybe you are giving 100 percent which i'm not sure anybody can give 100 percent okay you can give 100 percent and you expect at least 90 80 60 just depend um the person involved because people people see things differently people um, experience things differently and so I might be expecting 100% back but there are some people that will expect at least 60 there are some people that will say no at least 40 they are, but they expect a certain degree of love back okay you become a slave when you give and nothing is coming back and you're still giving that is a slave that is when you when it comes to to friends okay same with spouses you cannot be i cannot be giving a hundred percent to my husband and my husband is giving me 10 percent or 20 percent or nothing even 30 percent is small sometimes it's not really the percentage even it's like you not giving it is like being ungrateful you not giving it at all is like being ungrateful it just depends i don't even know how many percent i can take okay i'm not saying that the person can give me 100 or the person can give me 50 the person i just need something that i will know this person is also grateful that i'm offering something okay so you can be a, a slave for love where you're giving out love and nothing is coming back and you continue to give that is being a slave when it comes to love that is dangerous guys that is dangerous we are going to the second point the second point i'll be talking about friendship for friendship i think there should be that chemistry and it's not about the percentage of what you give because friendship um what i can always say people cannot be the same there can be some friends that you are richer than there can be some friends that you are you are poorer than them okay so in that case you do not expect the same kind of energy okay to be released but when it comes to gratefulness too i think it is how the person cherish the friendship that matters not really what the person give or put on the table it is mostly about about how the person cherish that uh, and that friendship how the person go out there to defend you how the person i mean those things for you okay also because i can be the one that i give out love and you can be the one that you kind of show your love through i can show my love through material things like money okay and you can be the one that show material things by by protecting you understand and always uh, uh, watching my back you understand there are things that you can always give to be able to make that friendship to work even if you are not giving the same 
kind of friendship that this person is giving to you there are other things that you can also give and i'm not saying that if you are releasing money in your friendship you are the one releasing money you cannot watch the person's back as well you can always do that because that is what friends do for each other okay that's what friends do for each other is very important so don't be a slave for friends okay don't be a slave for friendship it's very important that the the, the energy is is being reciprocal okay the energy giving is being reciprocal and and the reciprocal does not mean that I give energy 100%, you give energy 100%. No, the, the thing is not being measured. Is the way you can do it. You put all your best in the friendship, put your mind there. There are many people who do their friendship for 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 eye service that's not a good one you are being you are you're also practicing slavery okay in that kind of relationship in that kind of friendship because you are not there for the person you are there for something else you are there for some people to see that you have friends that doesn't mean anything that doesn't do any 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 good to you it will always put you in slavery yes that's that's what i can say and we are going to the number three. Can one be a slave when it comes to food one can be a slave um, in the sense that when, for example, you go to somebody's house, okay, um, you eat, okay, and you're full, okay, and the next minute you have to go somewhere else, maybe to another person's house or something, because it's not really like you went there to eat, okay, but you went there to do something and they gave you food again, you eat, just like that, and your appetite is like endless, that is being a slave, to food you can be a slave to food it's not just because it is just um a kind of routine for you to eat or are, are you trying to please someone it's not it's not a good thing that you you put your mind in 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 food in that manner okay food is very easy for you to be a slave when it comes to food food is something that they can give you food just to be able to for you to destroy someone and you can eat it and if you're that kind of a person that food controls you then you can easily destroy somebody because of simple food it is very important for us to know that food can be a weapon of slavery it can put you in a position where you become not important in the eyes of anybody if you are a lover of food i'm a lover of food but it shouldn't be in a kind of greedy manner okay now each time you see food you just want to eat each time you see food you just want to eat it's not it's never a good thing because it can keep you slavery for a very long time and that is not a good thing money money can also serve as something that can keep you as a slave on this earth it is not good like the bible says and the love of money is the root of all evil. You can be a slave to money. There are people who cannot, who cannot stay for a day without money. And those kind of people are people that I, I always say they are not having the spirit or the gift of content. You have to be contented with whatever you have, especially when it comes to finances. Because finances is a very big trap to so many people. It is because of finances and or because of um, your unsatisfied um taste when it comes to money that is making so many people because of their unsatisfied taste or the the greed for money like always wanting it the slavery in you when it comes to money that is what is putting so many people out there into so many bad things so many bad things because if you are a slave to money then you always be thirsty you always want more and more and more and when you love money like that remember the love of money is the root of all evil when you love money like that and become a slave then all that evil things will start entering into your mind that will become a point where you can you can't stay without money else you're going to do a dangerous thing you're going to destroy even yourself and destroy others just for the sake of money so let's stop and let's avoid being a slave when it comes to money there are people that are slave to education 
And someone will be asking, how can somebody become a slave to education? Like they want to acquire more and more knowledge. It's a good thing. But acquiring knowledge and not doing anything with it and not serving your community, not serving the public, you are a slave to education. You can't be studying and not being able to put it in practice, like just acquiring it, just getting it all by yourself and not being able to put it in practice to be able to help the society, to be able to help the public, to be able to help your community, to be able to help your family, to be able to help people out there. That's slavery. That's slavery. Studying and not putting it in practice is slavery. Okay? So let's be wise. Now we have come to the end of this video. If you know that there's also other things that you feel like it can make one to be uh, a slave uh, when one commits into in a wrong way, please leave it on the comments section. And if this is a video that you think you like, please give and uh, put a thumbs up okay yeah put a thumbs up on this video and tell me your ideas tell me what you think about this video and see you in my next one okay bye, -bye.